Hi, I'm Naima. This is part two of the Haggala or three quarter shimmy. We're going to be looking at a third version of the move today, which looks like this. I call this the tilt three quarter shimmy. Recall the version one had three steps to the move, which was an ascent out, up down, ascent up down. Version two was a just a slight variation on version one. We twisted our hip, hit into the corner, two, three, hit, two, three. In version three, it's also a three-step move, but the three steps are different. So let's get started. Get into your belly dance stance, feet comfortably apart, tailbone driven to the ground, shoulders back, chest up, and relax. Now, the first step of the three-step move for version three you step your foot out, just a small step forward, and you're going to be bending your front leg down and straightening your back leg. And this is going to happen at the same time. And you're going to stop with the bend and the straightening to the point of comfort. You don't want to be stressed, you don't want your legs to be stressed doing this. Just a comfortable bend and back leg straight. You also want to make sure that the knee is going as forward or in, in the same direction as your foot as possible. You don't want to be bending your leg, in, your knee in as you do this bend. What's happening with your hips is that the hips are following the legs. So this hip is following this leg forward and this hip is following this leg back. Now we're going to just focus on what we're doing with the hips because the hips is what really what makes the move look pretty dynamic. So what's happening on this side is we're twisting this hip in. Remember our hips are following, they're not coming down like this, we're following the leg. So we do a bit of a twist in to the point of comfort and then we drop the hip down with the leg. You let it follow that leg down. You can think of it trying to meet the leg without compensating with your knee. Meet the leg forward and then drop down with the leg. What's happening back here is this hip is coming back and being pushed out at the same time as your leg is going out and straightening. You want to make sure this hip doesn't go beyond that leg, and you want to also make sure you're not restricting that with the hip from going back. But it goes back, you're going to push your hip out and your bum out with that straightened leg, and then stop when that leg is straight. We want to do this whole move all in one. So it's a one. It's not a one, two. You might want to practice that a little bit over is down, down. Before we finish this step, I also want to stress that you want your upper body to stay straight. You don't want to be dipping your upper body. You want to isolate this move down here. You might lose a little hip down, but that's okay. If you isolate and keep this up, people are going to really see this move and accent it down. So now we're done step one. Step two of version three is actually step one of version one, which is an accent out. Recall that the accent out is push out, you straighten your leg. As your leg straightens, your hip gets driven up and your weight gets transferred onto the one leg. So we're going from weight on both legs to weight just on one leg. Notice that your hip now has gone from down to an up. Now, step three of version three is actually step two of version one. We take this leg here that has no weight on it and we bring it up. So the three steps are one, two, three. And we're done. Now we want to repeat it on the other side. Well, we're ready to go because we already have a bent leg here and we have a straight leg here. What we want to do is we want to step down into the bent leg for our one. We don't want to go from here to a straight leg and then down. We want 
one. And again, this might be something you really want to practice. Up and then walk right into that bent leg. Do this movement really slow. One, two, three. And over time, you're going to be able to do this faster and faster and faster. Before we end, I want to add an extra step that you can add to your belly dance repertoire. And that's the tilt walk. And the tilt walk is the tilt three-quarter shimmy without the shimmy. And it looks like this. Now, you can add a lot of variety to this move by doing different things with your arms. If I wanted, for example, a big open look, I spread my arms out and I do the walk with open arms. If I wanted a little attitude, I put my hands on my hips and I tilt walk. If I want a little variety, I put a hand to my head. If I want a little playfulness, I might put my arms in the air, play with my arms in the air as I tilt walk. Or if I want a little bit of coyness and shyness in my dance, I put my hands behind my back and tilt walk. This is a very folky move. It's a lot of fun to add to your dancing. So thank you for joining me for the three versions of the Hagala Three-Quarter Shimmy. Enjoy these moves. Thank you.